NVIDIA recently announced DLSS 4.5 at CES 2026. This update introduces a second-generation transformer model for super resolution. The new architecture uses five times the compute power of the previous version. It processes data in linear space instead of logarithmic space. This change prevents muted lighting and keeps colors accurate. You get sharper edges and less ghosting on moving objects. All RTX users can access this today through the NVIDIA app. Owners of older RTX 20 and 30 series cards might struggle though. Those GPUs lack the hardware for FP8 precision. This means the new models will cause a performance hit unless you stay on the older Model K preset. The GeForce RTX 50 series gets exclusive features in spring 2026. The new 6X multi-frame generation mode creates five AI frames for every one rendered frame. This boosts 4K path tracing performance by 35%. It helps you reach over 240 frames per second. NVIDIA also added dynamic multi-frame generation. This system works like an automatic transmission. It monitors your refresh rate and adjusts the frame multiplier in real time. It only generates the frames you need to stay smooth. This saves resources during light scenes and pushes hard during intense combat. There is a catch to these advancements. NVIDIA is locking the best features behind the newest and most expensive hardware again. While the image quality improvements for older cards are welcome, the massive performance gains require a 50 series purchase. You also have to use the NVIDIA app to manage these presets. This includes Model M for performance and Model L for 4K ultra performance. The tech even cleans up game interfaces to make text and minimaps look better. It is a massive leap in AI rendering, but it reminds us that the best experience always has a high price tag. This cycle of hardware locks keeps the technology moving forward while leaving older gear in the rearview mirror.